Hello everyone, I am Ajit. In this video, I am going to give an introduction on Ajax. Ok, let's begin. Back in old days, a traditional website, each and every user action required a complete page to be reloaded from the server. Obviously, this is very annoying and also led to three major issues. Poor performance, affected user experience and heavier load on the server. The Microsoft team were after this and came up with a solution to all these major issues. Here comes the concept called Ajax, Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. First of all, what is Ajax? Is it a new programming language? A new technology? No, it's a concept, a new way to use existing standards. There is no separate script to use Ajax. It uses JavaScript as a base. Okay, what it does? It allows exchanging data with a server and updating parts of a web page without reloading the whole page. That means programmer can control each and every single element in the web page dynamically. In the beginning, the exchanging of data was through XML, but gradually they came up with another technology which is far more effective than XML, that is JSON. Okay. The next point is why it is needed. As I mentioned before, it solved three major issues were found in the traditional website development that is performance issue and uh, interactive interface to the user and lower load on the server. Okay, let's skim through some of the examples where Ajax played a phenomenal role in website development. First one is Google suggestions. Unlike old days, if you want to search something and you start typing before you before the completion of your search string, Google guesses it based on the popular search. The Ajax is the key thing to autocomplete your search phrase. Second one is interactive form. If you have observed these days that any mistakes you do while filling form, it will not redirect to any page to display error messages. Rather, it shows just beside your mistake. And the next one is dynamic updation of form elements. As you can see this, the values of state and city are not set before. Based on your selection that is country name in this context the values of state and city will be up updated dynamically and the next one is live scoreboards you can observe without reloading the pay whole page the contents of the web page like score and commentary will be automatically updated at intervals of time Next one is notifications. Notifications of ongoing events, pop-up messages or immediate acknowledgement to your message as seen, all those are crea created using Ajax. As you can observe every example I shown you don't, don't need a reload of whole page and every action is very quick and user friendly. Well, that is the beauty of Ajax. To explain how it works, I will take an example of your Google search to explain how Google internally process it and gives you suggestions. First one is you open a, any browser and you, to go, you, you go to google.com, you will get a text box to enter your search keywords. Say you want to search about Sachin Tendulkar, so you start typing. When you type the first keyword S, the browser fetches this keyword immediately through JavaScript and sends it to Ajax API. Uh, using XML HTTP object, Ajax engine sends this character to Google server. The Google server evaluates the character S and lists few popular search keywords starting from S. Server shortlists those 5 or 6 top searches and sends back to your browser. Then Ajax engine receives the top search list from the Google server and append the same to the web page. 
So all these process is so fast that it takes just a few milliseconds. You should notice that when you start typing S and before even entering the next character, the suggestion will be ready. Yes, this is the power of Ajax. So the next thing is the XML HTTP object. This object plays a vital role to communicate from a web page to a server instantly. To given code consists of creating this XML HTTP object according to your type of browser. If the browser is Internet Explorer 5 or 6, ActiveX Active object is created. And for all other browsers, XML HTTP request object is created. And the next thing is properties of XML HTTP request. First one is on ready state change. It's an event handler method which describes what should happen for each change of Ajax request state. The second one is ready state. It's a variable which stores from 0 to 4 and describes the state of a request. If the value is 0, then the request is not initiated. If the value is 1, it denotes request prepared but not sent to the server. If the value is 2, denotes request is sending to server. The third one is denotes waiting for the response from the server. 4 denotes response is arrived from the server. So the next thing is response text. If a server sends response in a text format, you can fetch that using this response text variable and response XML. Similarly, it contains all XML data sent from the server. The status contains the value which holds XML HTTP code such as 404 or 200 etc. If the status text contains the status description that is not found or forbidden etc. The next thing is the methods of XML HTTP. Open method establishes a connection with the server. Ajax provides two open methods, one with method with method and URL and another is the same along with the asynchronous parameter. The parameter methods use may be get or post. URL specifies the path of server to be communicated. Asynchronous contains the boolean value that is true or false which denotes the communication is asynchronous or not. If you are not aware of asynchronous communication, don't worry. I will be explaining that in a few minutes. The next thing is second method actually sends the request to server. Uh, send method with a string parameter can be used when you using post method. Let's see what is asynchronous communication. In order to understand the asynchronous communication, let's look at the traditional communication model that is synchronous communication. Typically, after the request being made, the sender will wait for either acknowledgement or any kind of response from the ser server. Uh, and the sender will be idle until it receives the response. But in asynchronous communication, sender will not wait for any response from the other end. It will process the next task seamlessly. So in this case, after making a request, script processing carried on after the send method without waiting for a response from the server. Ajax provides both type of communication. As per the requirement, you can use just by changing the asynchronous value in open method. The value true means the communication is asynchronous and false denotes non-asynchronous communication. In the next video, I will be demonstrating a simple Ajax program execution along with the code explanation. Thanks for watching.